Hi, uh, I'm just going to read you another extract from the book. This is um, from the time when uh, Eddie became AFC Bournemouth's manager for the first time. OK, the axe finally fell on Jimmy Quinn as the club's manager following the appointment of a new board on 31st of December 2008 uh, that called on Eddie Howe to become the youngest manager in the Football League. On a dramatic evening, Paul Baker stepped down as chairman and his shares were sold to a consortium headed by Adam Murray. When Eddie was invited to take over the caretaker manager's position, the club was second bottom and were entering the new year, still seven points from safety. Eddie's first task was to ask himself, did he really want the position? If Eddie was daunted by the task facing him, he didn't show it. I was forced to work with the players I had, our calls. What a great learning tool. It made me realise sometimes you don't have to look for new players. You just have to make the ones you have work better. This is an opportunity to save the club he loved. To establish himself as a young manager who also had something to prove, having seen his playing career cut short. The Guardian wrote in March 2009 that the appointment of Eddie Howe was likely to have been seen as many as a last throw of the dice. All I can say is that was some throw. From a personal point of view, it was probably Eddie who was taking all the risks. He had not been a full-time manager before and the task he faced of keeping a team up was looking really bleak, to say the least. Two managers had already been in place since the start of the season and they both failed. So why should a young 31-year-old with only youth team manage management experience uh, be any better at doing the job? Thank you.